Hello everyone, and welcome to... What is this? What is going on? It's another disreact. Um, I don't even remember the last time I recorded one of these, but I'm very excited to try the new setup and actually try and get something going. Um, I'm using a webcam, so I'm actually real-time like looking at myself right now. And I probably, sh probably, probably should have moved it over to the other monitor since I actually have a two monitors set up right now. But I, I wasn't thinking about that. Um, but yeah, uh, right now I'm just kind of testing the webcam. Hopefully everything's fine. Uh, autofocus is still on, which is pretty bothersome. I don't know why it's still on. Uh, it's it's been very difficult to understand like how the webcam works and how I I'm not I'm not used to webcams okay I uh, I've recorded with my phone for a good majority of the time and uh, yeah uh, this new setup is still kind of mind boggling to me but hopefully it'll be good hopefully everything will be fine and uh, yeah so I'm just gonna record a a short reaction to uh, the moon rises so that way I. This is basically like my setup test, so that way I make sure everything goes fine. And then I can work on to other stuff that I care more about. Not to say that I don't care about this, but let's just say it hasn't been on my list of promises. And that's all I'm concerned about right now. Uh, so this is The Moon Rises by Duo Cartoonist. Uh, I've been wanting to see this for a little while, but I've been holding it off. Uh, mostly just because I haven't been in the mood to record reactions, but... Uh, I figured, hey, uh, this would probably be the best one to work with. Now, I, I also, I, I probably shouldn't say this because I might not get around to it, but uh, I was also considering doing the one by Omega. I was on the, the other Dungeons and Dragons one that came out because that one looked really cool too. And I, I just love, um, I, I love Omega's o Ozone's animations there. Those, those are just absolutely fantastic. Uh, and before I continue this, uh, I should mention a couple things. First of all, uh, Duo Cartoonist, they're an awesome group. If you have not checked them out, what are you doing here? That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I, I imagine it's probably less than 1% of people that are watching this right now, but uh, they also have a Patreon, so... I recommend checking them out if you want to support their work. It's it's uh, huge that they do, and I'm surprised that they don't have like over that they're not over earning like over a thousand dollars a month right now. They're earning like seven hundred, I think. Um, yeah, I, I just checked their Patreon page recently, and they've got some pretty cool perks if you're an animator. Uh, you can learn a lot from them. Uh, they are some of the most amazing animators I've seen in the fandom, so I'm definitely excited to to see a, an, another one of their works. And I just listened to The Moon Rises by Ponyphonic. I I ha really haven't listened to any of Ponyphonic's songs that I can remember other than uh, Lullaby for a Princess, which I had listened years ago, even before that animation came out, but not this one. I haven't listened to this song, so... Uh, clearly it's going to be like a Luna-esque Nightmare Moon, maybe, a uh, type of animation. And, well, I'm Team Solar Empire, so, um, yeah, it's not exactly, uh, not, not exactly my forte. Um, I'm very biased in favor of Celestia and Team Celestia and all that, so, uh, Clearly, uh, clearly, I'm not going to be as big of a fan of this animation as other people, simply for the fact that uh, a large percentage of the uh, of the fandom loves Luna. <laughs> don't get me wrong; I don't hate Luna, but come on, come on, come on. We all know Celestia's best princess. All right. So uh, let me just get on with this right now and uh, check it out and hopefully everything looks good sounds good uh, the time of the day is pretty weird I've got light coming in from all directions and the uh, webcam super sensitive right now so <sighs> hopefully everything goes smoothly because I do not want to record another one of these test videos I, I kind of want to get to the to the other stuff but yeah 
Also, wow. Um, I didn't realize that Duo Cartoonist had over. T- well, they they've almost hit the two hundred thousand sub mark, and they've got five million views on this one. <laughs> I mean, Children of the Night's got 40, 40 million views, but this one already hit 5 million, so clearly, yeah. Um, man, it's crazy. It's crazy. They're, they're doing really well right now, and uh, yeah, definitely consider checking out their Patreon. Okay, let's do this. Three, two, one, play. I see you there. I see you. It is a fan work. Very much so. I should probably full screen this, but... Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Alright. It's a very interesting setting. It, uh... That first scene actually kind of reminded me of Aladdin a bit. Um, I'm, I'm just taking off part of the headphones so I can actually hear myself talk. So I guess this isn't the exact same song, it's more like a cover of it. Because Ailey Monte is singing this one. And, and she's an incredible singer, by the way, so, like, yeah. All the better. So this is clearly, yeah, the thousand years ago part, because I saw a star swirl. Um, I'm, I'm just kind of taking this in all right now. So this, this is portrayed kind of like a sequel to Children of the Night, isn't it? God, that's absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love that stylistic choice of the transition right there. Man, everything's red. I, I think it would have been even cooler if it was a blood moon, but... <laughs> Yeah, that might throw things off a little bit with the red sky. I don't know, I'm just totally captivated by the transitions there. And I guess there was some sort of story with the fact that Star Swirl was, like, watching it all. So I thought that was, uh, pretty interesting. But, uh, yeah. These guys have done an incredible job. I, um... I don't know what other to say other than it. they fully met my expectations with this. It's absolutely stunning. Um, I don't think I'm going to go back and look at this. I could, but I feel like that would be a bit of a waste of time. And honestly, I just... Uh, I don't know what else to say. I am... Like, there, there was so much going on in there, I couldn't possibly 
go through all of it in one take it's just impossible that's like something that i'd have to do like frame by frame and i'm not recording my screen so um yeah that that is an absolutely beautiful take on the song though and um i uh it was really cool how it looked like they they sort of did that as like a follow-up to children of the night because i honestly didn't expect that but uh yeah and uh of course the the scene with her eyes changing that that i think was the coolest part uh which i didn't even mention but yeah just that that not so subtle transition but like uh I don't know. It was it was like a smaller, it was like a smaller change that happened first. That I was, I don't know. Th there's just something about it that really impressed me. So, um, I mean, I really don't know what to say other than the fact that these guys have done an incredible job with so many of their animations. Um, they absolutely deserve all the views they're getting because they. Uh, they've done a fantastic job uh, <laughs> and uh yeah uh this came out november 2016 so it's 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 been out for a few months uh, so kind of late to the party here but uh I, I felt like this would be a a good one to to check out at least and yes they are on the mlp react list so it's okay it's all good um i i Reactors have written permission to react to this. <laughs> it's all fine. Um, I'm going to give that a like right now while I'm at it. And uh, I'm just checking out the description to see if there's anything else I missed. So the vocals are by Eile Monty. And um... yeah, uh, so I guess they, like Ponyphonic, worked on this song with them? I, I don't know. I mean, it just says it was a pleasure to work with you. This came out April 2016, so I don't know if this was made or remixed for the animation. I, I, I'm not quite sure, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I go into the description, and the first thing I see are all those Disney comparisons, um, I absolutely had that in mind. Uh, I, I did mention that the beginning kind of reminded me of Aladdin, but absolutely they think of like the, the Disney quality when it comes to this type of stuff. And yeah, I mean, with such a small team, like it, it's, it's probably the best comparison that you can make really. Um, but it's also like the, the most standard comparison. And I knew, I knew other people would make that type of stuff so i didn't want to actually say it <laughs> yeah um so yeah that was really cool uh didn't have quite the emotional impact that uh, i think some of the other animations had but uh i i still found it really intriguing and uh uh the the, the fact that there was a little bit of a story going on and relation to children of the night was still incredibly cool and uh yeah i i think that's pretty much all i gotta say about this hopefully it's sufficient enough um i, I definitely like being able to go into detail but i can't go much more into detail without like watching this a second time and i'm i'm just not gonna do that i uh i, th I think that's uh i i think this is enough for now uh, you you've got my solid first impressions on the material um so yeah hopefully everything goes right with the recording there might be a few tweaks that i need to make in the future but this was important for me to make in order for me to work on any other future uh, reaction videos that i kind of promised i would do i'm, I'm getting to it it's just um I, I just needed a little bit of time to to like get through the whole uh basically being worn out of it because i've done it for so long and uh, i've recorded so many uh, it's, it's become exhausting but uh yeah uh 
it was great to come back to this and just uh, check out and see some of the new material that's been going on. Um, if I record another one of these uh, fandom animation reactions or uh, fandom videos in general, uh, the next one's probably going to be that uh, that follow up Dungeons and Dragons video by Omega Ozone because th those are hilarious. I absolutely love them and. Yeah, uh, I've been thinking about that one quite a bit. <laughs> All right. Check out Duo Cartoonist. Pledge to their Patreon if you can, even if it's just like one or two bucks a month. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. I'm sure uh, they'd make great use of it because I know that they're doing wonderful projects in the future, even if it's not necessarily pony related because... I understand them wanting to get into other stuff. I heard about that, and uh, I don't blame them, because uh, I, I think limiting yourself to one uh, one type of work is uh, it's probably very uh, draining on them, and I think uh, it would be good for them to try and work into other material. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, uh, and I'm thankful for your patience with me, and I'm grateful for the people that stuck around this long to to watch another one of these, because it, it's still fun. It's still fun. I just, uh, I just needed some time, was all. So, with that, take care. And peace out.